So this is the Gusmoom as many of users were looking for that Gusmoom which was having Android 11 style quick settings panel and this is one of the main highlight about this custom room. I'm talking about Project Blaze which is based on Android 13 and the Project Blaze version is version 2.5. This is the latest version which is having February security patch. The changes that everything which is included in this version I'll talk about some of the things in this video so stay tuned. First of all the default launcher is actually Pixel Launcher X extended version which means some extra features are there i mean not actually features are in included or unlocked in this default home page but actually it is having some extra things like customized at a glance widget which is which you can see at the default home screen i will show you later later on but let me tell you one thing this custom launcher is actually one of the best custom launchers out there extra grades unlocked of course but it's good Moving on to the things which are available in quick settings panel as it is one of the main highlights of this custom room. This is how the quick settings panel is looking like. This quick settings panel of course is inspired from Android 11 and a lot of users definitely love this thing. So if you're one of the users who just want to explore this thing in this custom room, you would you should definitely install this custom room on your device. If this is officially available for your device, it's good. If this is not officially available, it should be available unofficially for sure because i found some of the devices who are getting unofficial versions don't worry you can try out that and this thing should work there too or maybe if it is not available yet for your device you can simply request if your device is maintained by any of the developers out there moving on to some settings ui if you're able to notice settings ui is also a bit different it's not exactly like the stock android it's actually card style UI, I think so. It looks good too. And the features or customizations which are included here are just good. The change which I found after installing this thing is in the lock screen customization that you have the option to turn off the ripple effect on unlock with fingerprint on lock screen. This is a very useful thing by the way, but other options are just basically same like lock screen charging info, media cover art, etc, etc. Things are just basically same. The quick setting styles also has some extra customizations for you by default of course it's android 11 style but you can even customize that by default if you're able to notice the tile which is active is in rounded shape and the tile which is not active is in rounded rectangular shape so you have the option to choose the rounded rectangle for everyone for every tile i mean even the tile is active or non-active still you will see the rounded rectangle or maybe the round which is basically almost same like android 11 style to be very honest this actually looks amazing amazing and compared to some other android 12 or android 13 based custom rooms and even if you already know that android 12 or android 13 has same kind of quick settings panel google's stock quick settings panel is just not so good for everyone you must try out project blaze on advice only for this reason not actually only but this might be one of the reasons why you should install project blaze on your device i actually found this feature this thing super good and it's just my personal opinion of course but it's actually good for some some things you need to restart your system ui but it's completely okay as you can see if i want to try if i want to use the transparency in quick settings panel you can see this is how the ui is looking like but i'm testing it in redmi note 10 pro and the performance is good it's quite good of course it's not the best but it's good enough and i think so you will love this thing too some system customizations are just basically same like where you have the option to ignore the window secure flags advanced restart some spoofing options for netflix and unlimited google photos or maybe for unlimited uh, maybe fps unlocker in games yes just basically same here battery also have the option to reset your stats this is super good super useful thing you can simply reset your battery stats for some cases if you have charged your device to up to 60 or 70 percent you want to see the screen on time this is a very useful thing other options are just basically same like the features the card style ui you already got to know android 11 style quick settings panel it also includes ot updater is maybe i don't know if it is working fine or not because i don't use i haven't updated any custom room through ota by the way this custom room also have the new settings ui style and i haven't included this thing in this update because it's not included in this update it was available previously too i was talking about some changes only status bar customizations are just basically same other custom Customizations are just basically same the major things which i just want to let you know i have already shared with you so these were things i just want to let you know i hope you like this make sure to like and share this video goodbye